It is not how big the penis is or how small the penis is. Mm. As, as Pastor Munene has said in Beridi and Salano, mm. it's all about your mind. Mm. And most of the times when you hear most of the women saying that the man has a small penis, it means she has had sex with other men, mm. probably who had bigger penis. Mm. And she has a mindset. Women have a mindset of big things. Okay. Especially penis. I don't know why we have a liking. Every we want a small body, we want a small head, we want small legs. But when it comes to penis, we want a big penis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. If you have seen those who have been pranked, yes. mm. even uh, on social media, oh, every yeah. time a man puts a, a cucumber mm. and it looks like uh, it's big, mm. women are so much attracted. Mm. I don't know why women think that they need a big penis, right. you know, to give them pleasure. Mm -hmm. I came to submit to us. Mm -hmm. It is not how small or how big it is, as they have said. Mm -hmm. It's an issue of your mind. It is a beautiful season bringing you the Naked and Not Ashamed show. If you are new on our show, this is a, a platform where we discuss various topics. Things that affect couples directly, either sexually, emotionally, financially. When you are tuned in, you will always get answers and solutions in, in a way that you cannot get in any other platform. Thank you for always tuning in. We are pleased and blessed to be having you. Dad and Mom. Just know I'm always glad to be here. Thank you. You are a blessing to me and so to my much. husband. And also my husband on the set, we are charged and bringing you hot topics. Darling, welcome. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much again. It's another day again. Mm -hmm. We're here to answer your questions. We've been receiving so many questions from our inboxes, from our social media platforms. And they have a question here that I want to, to, to read. But before that, let me welcome our parents mm. to say hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Our viewers, hi. Uh, we trust that you are doing well. Mm -hmm. Pastor Sue yes. and the Hambi here, yeah. we love you. <laughs> and we thank God for you. Yes. And what a show. What a show. You know, this, this, I always look forward mm -hmm. for every program Amen. every week. Amen. Because I know there's something to learn. Yes. So this is not an entertainment. Uh -huh. It's a platform to empower relationships, oh, to yes. empower families. Oh, yes. And that's why it is a very unique show mm -hmm. in this uh, you know, in this continent and all over the world. Amen. So we love you and you are most welcome. My dear, yes. you are well? I am well. I'm yes. doing very well. And I'm also very happy to be in this show. I trust that your heart is opened and your mind to receive the wisdom that God is going to give us because it is through wisdom. The Bible says a house or a family is established yes. and by understanding it is established. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, and by the knowledge, yes. the chambers are filled with the pleasant, you know, things. And so I want to trust that your heart is open to receive the wisdom that God has given us. Mm -hmm. And as if you put this wisdom into practice, yes. your life can never be the same again. Yes. This wisdom has worked for us. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are sharing because we know what we are telling you will surely work for your life. Mm -hmm. And so sit there, relax and just learn. And I trust that your, your marriage and your relationship will be better in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow. Yes. Thank you so much for that uh, heartwarming welcome. Yes. I'll go direct to the question so wow. that we can be able to see how we can help each other. Because this is where we first learn for even the people who send the questions mm -hmm. learn. Mm -hmm. This is a question from a lady. A uh, wife is saying that my husband <laughs> has a small <laughs> machine and he doesn't know how to use it. We have been married for five years with no children, but sitosheki kabisa. I have heard many people say that size doesn't matter. Lies, wongo, it does, at least in my case. I don't want to cheat on my man, but what options do I have? Will I stay like this for the rest of my life? Both of us are 33 years old. Could this also be a reason why we don't have children? Does size affect fertility? Wow. wow. Hey, so what, profound. What, what, what a, so profound. a question. Oh, yes. Maybe before mom comes in, because <laughs> mom is coming in as a professional, I think most people are going through 
similar situation, maybe silently. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also tend to think that maybe the man has been victimized, or there is how a lady could have behaved that makes the man not want to use it effectively. I'm just thinking, because she's saying he doesn't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the, if your ego is crushed, mm -hmm. even if you knew, even if you had a bigger one, you didn't use it. I, I tend to think before I'm, me, me, I think this before one comes in. <laughs> I love that. My, my worry is, mm. who is she comparing with? Mm -hmm. Meaning, she has ever had a small one somewhere mm -hmm. that was working well, mm -hmm. or she has experienced a big one somewhere. Yes. So I think. In this situation, I may not even think about the self of the man, but I may think of her comparing her man's performance with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe mom, you can come in and maybe yeah, now give mom us. <laughs> and probably before maybe even she comes on board, because I'm yes. sure there's a you know a, a lot of wisdom yes. to learn from this. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, she said, my man mm -hmm. has a small machine mm -hmm. now. Uh, you know, when I'm talking about the machine, I'm thinking about the cars, eh? <laughs> yeah? Uh, <laughs> uh, there are some, of God, some it is car, the penis, cars eh? of, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh -huh. 1.5 engines, uh -huh. others 1.5, 8cc, uh -huh. others, you know, 2.7, uh -huh. others uh, 3 point something, uh -huh. 4 point something. Uh -huh. All these are different machines uh -huh. with different capacity. Uh -huh. Wow. You know? I love that. And I, I am not sure, and maybe you're going to help us on this, uh -huh. whether uh -huh. the same way the cars have got different CCs, uh -huh. even men also, <laughs> I've got the different levels of yes. machine. Wow. <laughs> you get it. Eh? Yes. Because I think we have said there before uh -huh. that when it comes to tua tua, mm -hmm. when it comes to sex, yes. the most important uh, thing, uh -huh. it is not the size uh -huh. per se. Uh -huh. You know, it is the, the, mind. the mind. It is the brain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The most important component mm -hmm. in love making mm -hmm. It is not how big mm -hmm. it is, yeah. mm -hmm. or how small, <laughs> tiny mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Micro. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Yes. What matters mm -hmm. is the brain. Mm -hmm. If the brain is big, mm -hmm. <laughs> if, the, if the mind is big, mm -hmm. if there are enough information upstairs, mm -hmm. then anything else, mm -hmm. it will work for you. Yes. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. there has been a myth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Something which is very long mm -hmm. that the size matters. Yes. My dear, mm -hmm. does the size matter? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you've said something here. Yes. Be before she blows everything here, you've talked about different cars with different CCs. Yes. At the end of the day is, yeah. are we able to reach our destination mm -hmm. with those cars? Mm -hmm. Whether it's V8, whether it's a V8, mm -hmm. we should be able to reach the destination. Whether, yeah. it's, a mm -hmm. whether it's a motorbike. Mm -hmm. So the problem comes in mm -hmm. when we are not able to reach the destination. Not talking yeah. like to figure me to and, and, then, and then number two, uh, yes. you've talked about small, however small it is. Uh -huh. What's the SI unit? How small is small? Because there is... <laughs> There is small that is Do we alarming. have, a, okay, mom will tell us the minimum, minimum that is required <laughs> to reach there, then you can ask it. Maybe, yeah, maybe, think, maybe. That's where I think now mm. the art of love making mm. comes in. Yes. Oh, and I'm sure she's going to handle that. Oh, yes. The art of love making. Yes. Yeah. It has got nothing to do with the size. Very true. Yes. Now, now as mom comes in, mom, you will bring this one also clearly yes. from what you are going to speak about. Yeah. Do we have men who don't know how to perform? Mm -hmm. I think or, that or, we have or do you think men should be taught how to go about the this, 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 this is this is one thing that no one will ever teach a man. <laughs> 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 we never tell her now this is how it's done. Yeah. We are born, then we come, then you are left to go and do it on your own. Mm -hmm. Even during marital premarital counseling, mm -hmm. so people that people who have no idea and they don't know how that's best or that's worse. So I think what offends we mm -hmm. so that's why we are here. <laughs>
<laughs> so this lady who feels like she want to quit, she yes. is tired. Yeah. Uh, the machine is too small. Yes. So let's talk about the machine. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's a very valid yes. question. Uh -huh. And uh, we truly want to thank the person who has asked that question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is important. That's why this show is very important yeah. to be able to be to bring the light and highlights of the truth mm -hmm. so that we can walk in the in marriage and have relationships that are strong. Indeed. It is important for us to understand. It is not how big the penis is or how small the penis is. Mm. As, as Pastor Munene has said in Beridi and Salano, mm. it's all about your mind. Mm. And most of the times when you hear most of the women saying that the man has a small penis, it means she has had sex with other men, mm. probably who had bigger penis. Mm. And she has a mindset. Women have a mindset of big things. Okay. Especially penis. I don't know why we have a liking. Every we want a small body, we want a small head, we want small legs. But when it comes to penis, we want a big penis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. If you have seen those who have been pranked, yes. mm. even uh, on social media, oh, every yeah. time a man puts a, a cucumber mm. and it looks like uh, it's big, mm. women are so much attracted. Mm. I don't know why women think that they need a big penis, right. you know, to give them pleasure. Uh -huh. I came to submit to us. Uh -huh. It is not how small or how big it is, as they have said. Uh -huh. It's an issue of your mind. And as long as a man can erect, can have an erection, yes. that penis is well to go. Why? Because of the way God has created the, uh, the anatomy, mm -hmm. the anatomy and the physiology, that is the, the, the organs of a woman. Mm -hmm. The organs of a woman is important for you to understand that uh, the vagina of a woman is only sensitive two to three inch. Two, two to, to three, three inch. inch. So as long as, this, as long as your husband has a penis that is two inch, two inch so two, and a half, two, three, three inch, mm -hmm. it will function as long as it can <laughs> erect. Two inch, my two dear. Inch. Two inch to That's two, too yeah. Small. No, two inch to three. Two, All right. As long as, and very few men have that. As long as they can erect, mm. it is quite enough. Well, because nice even when we are reaching orgasm yes. during foreplay yes. on our clitoris, mm. a man does not use most of the times. Some may use their penis, but they use the hand. Mm. How big is the hand? How part? What part of the hand do you use? A the very tip, small tip. The tip of the finger. Thank you. Ah. A tip of the finger is what arouses a woman. And God knew that because God cannot make a mistake when creating a man. Remember, God is the originator of sex. Yeah. God is the one who gave a man a penis and gave a woman a vagina. Mm. So he knows even when you are coming out from your mother's womb, mm. the penis you have been given, it's enough to do what it was, it was ordained to, to do, mm. and especially sex. Yes. And so it is not the size. Wow. It's not the size. Mm -hmm. if, and it, 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 the size does not mean that when a man has a small penis, you might have a challenge of getting children. Children mm -hmm. don't come out from the size of the penis. Remember, wow. children come from the testes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to say that again. Yeah. That children don't, don't come, come from the, from from the, the size, size of the penis. Mm -hmm. Whether it is big or small. All right. Remember, the seed of a man is not in the penis. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a pipe. You know, to pass the seed. The seeds are in the testes. You know, you are teaching so powerfully. Wow, thank yeah. you so much. The, the, the seeds are not in the pipe. Yes. In, yeah. in the pipe. In the pipe. In the pipe. In the pipe. The penis in the pipe. And maybe, yes. uh, Mamu, from what you're saying, this. I think you should really echo that because mm. nowadays most men are going for in a penis, penis enlargement, enlargement. Yes. because of the societal mm. pressure. Yes. People just wow. feel like if I go and enlarge my. Penis, maybe I'll impress my girl more. Yes. But Mama said that it is not a matter of the mm -hmm. size, but mm -hmm. it's how you use it. Because yes. we even find the pressure, like people are saying Nigerians are a threat to, they don't want any Nigerian people around the society because they feel that they can snatch away the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the females. It's that notion of that car size of the penis. Oh, yes. right. yeah, but if you get liberated in the mind, it's all about the mind and yeah. what you believe in. Mm -hmm. yeah. You talked about that it's about the mind. Mm. Whose mind? My mind or her mind? Both. The mind of the woman. Ah. 
The, the, the person who is seeing that the penis is small or the oh. vagina is big. Uh -huh. Because there are also men who believe that women have a, a large vagina. Mm. So it is not an issue of the, the person. It's an issue, the person complaining is the one who has another mindset. Okay. Because of having maybe uh -huh. watched porn, those who watch pornography, it really messes up with your mindset. Mm. Completely. Because there is a lot of camera tricks, there is a lot of enlargement, you know, all these things. So people tend, they, they are comparing their partner with what they saw. You can't compare if you uh -huh. don't have something else in your mind. Exactly. Comparison exactly. comes if you have something mm -hmm. else in your mind mm -hmm. that you are comparing with. Mm -hmm. But if the, if, the, if, if the man can be able to erect mm -hmm. and can be able to remove the semen and mm -hmm. the sperms, mm -hmm. Because the semen comes from the prostate gland, mm -hmm. the, the, the sperms comes from the testes, mm -hmm. then that and is able to, wow. to, to ejaculate or give a volume that is enough mm. to make sure that it is able to propel and go and, and fertilize an ovum, mm. the size does not actually matter. Mm. What matters is what Pastor Munene said, mm. ART. The wow. art of love making. Mm -hmm. If a man does not know mm -hmm. how to romance the wife, mm -hmm. how to touch the most sensitive and erroneous, you know, erroneous uh, parts, side parts mm -hmm. then this woman will never. That's why she thinks she has never enjoyed sex. Yeah. Because it means that the man does not understand about romance, mm -hmm. and that's why it's very important for men to understand mm -hmm. the sensitive parts of women, the upper part of the body. Before even you go to the lower part, mm -hmm. can you deal with the upper part? You kiss. Mm. You, you, you touch each other because mm. during that time when you're touching one another as long as skin to skin mm. comes into contact mm. there is a hormone produced by the brain called oxytocin mm -hmm. and this hormone helps you to bond with your wow. partner. That's why prior before sex, you feel you are really attracted to your husband and your husband feels very attracted to you mm. because that hormone is in control. Mm. This is the same hormone that is produced when a woman is breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. When you breastfeed a child, the way mm. the, the mother and the son or the daughter, they bond. Mm. That is the hormone during that touch, during mm. that breastfeeding. Mm. That hormone is when it is produced. Mm. So it's, it's, it's an issue of having the art of love making mm. and understanding the anatomy of a woman. Mm. Because one thing that God did he put the clitoris outside the body outside completely mm -hmm. so that so that paradventure if a man is not able to get an erection mm -hmm. for whatsoever reason mm -hmm. maybe he's stressed he's sick mm -hmm. he can still have pleasure with his wife mm -hmm. through using his finger mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not fingers finger, finger. Wow. If one is enough and especially okay. the thumb can do a good work mm. and not really putting a lot of pressure <laughs> no 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 just touching it gently because remember the penis is a boneless organ uh. the vagina is also a boneless organ <laughs> so i want to talk to my to my sister my daughter or whoever has asked that question mm. to tell you that really the size does not really matter mm. much more as there is a myth that the size matters you see, a myth is a hidden lie in the mind of a person mm. that is believed to be the truth, but it is but not the truth. Not. Mm. So but. I want to let you know that it is possible if you understand the art of love making. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why you need to be coming for our seminars. That's why you need to come for our conferences. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to have our book so that you can understand the art of love making. Mm -hmm. And from there, you are able to enjoy sex just like any other woman. Mm -hmm. So having a small penis does not mean that that man is infertile no mm -hmm. as long as he can erect he's well to go okay mm -hmm. and then if they have a problem with infertility as they are saying that now this is their fifth year mm -hmm. and they don't have they need to see a medical doctor mm -hmm. so that now both of them can be checked how is the 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 sperms the the the, the sperms of this man are they do they have a head do they have a tail how are they traveling mm -hmm. you know they also he also needs to be checked even the woman are the ovaries okay? Are the hormones balancing? The, you can't really say the reason why you don't have a child is because of the man. It could also be you have the challenge yourself. Mm. So it's good to see a medical doctor instead of staying in suspicion, waiting for a child month after month. Wow. It's good for you to see a medical doctor. Mm. And if you don't have one, our number is down there on the screen. We are able to connect you with very qualified people and experienced people. And they're going to help you to be able to have a powerful sex. Alternatively, you can book us for counseling and we are able to teach you the art of love making together mm -hmm. with Pastor Munene mm -hmm. and teach you how to do it mm -hmm. and have pleasure mm -hmm. in your marriage. Mm -hmm. So there is hope. Wow, there is hope. Way, just before uh, probably we come out of that, yes. now there's this now part of a, uh, a ready feeling mm -hmm. that this man has got a small penis. Yes. So in the real sense, mm -hmm. the problem is even the ready mm -hmm. who has that mindset. Yes. 
There's also another case whereby mm. some ladies they feel mm -hmm. uh, kwamba you know they, they are not okay. Them oh, they are their vagina is large. Yes, that's eh? a good one. Thank yes, you. Yeah. Yes. Now, mm. um, what what is uh, you know your take on that? Yes. Both professionally mm. and any other advice yes. that you can give on on that also. Wow. Yeah. Medically, there is no woman with a with a large vagina. Mm -hmm. There is nothing like that. Mm -hmm. The vagina enlarges depending with what is getting in or what is coming out. Mm -hmm. That's why the same vagina will, will get in a penis that is less than 500 grams. Less okay, than. Okay, 500 uh -huh. grams. And the same vagina can be able to produce a baby with 4 kgs. kgs. Or 4.5 or 5, even 6, six kgs. kgs. I was also born 5 kgs. Wow. So the, the, the same, the same, channel, same route. The same wow. route. The same, the same canal. Wow. And so, all what a woman needs to know, as long as you deliver by the 60th week, the sixth week, the, the, the natural way of a woman, the, everything returns back to its former state. The uterus that had enlarged and could be able to keep the placenta, could be able to keep the amniotic fluid, could be able to keep this baby with over four kgs, it is able to shrink and come, and come back to its normal. And the, the, the uterus of a woman is the size of your fist. Every woman, your uterus is the size of your fist, equally with your stomach. Your stomach is also the fist of, is of, the, of your hand. It's only that it has erectile muscles. Muscles that can be able to expand. Wow. So the vagina, after six weeks after wow. delivery, whether through CS yes or through normal, through uh, you know normal normal delivery, your 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 uterus, your vagina, your cervix, everything returns back to normal. And so from there, what you need to do as a woman is just to practice Kegel's exercise. When you go to pee, wow. to pee to urinate, you make sure that you don't urinate for you hold as you release you know una 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 you 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 hold and then you release or you hold you release until you finish to urinate and then practice these things even when you are seated the way i'm seated i'm still practicing them you squeeze in three seconds you release you squeeze in three seconds every man can practice that one two three and then you release one two three that pc muscle when it is when it is tight you go back again to your former state. So there is no woman uh, who has a big, who has a big vagina. Alternatively, there are women who say that they are having flatulence. Ni kama ananyamba kupitia kwa vagina. I don't know whether you have. Women have heard that, mm -hmm. and they know. Ameskia kama menyamba, like it is not from the anus. It's like from the vagina. Sometimes air can be trapped inside the vagina. Oh really? Air can be trapped inside the vagina. So okay. when it's coming out, it will come out like a, a flatulence, mm. but it is not, or you are like you are farting, but it is normal mm. for a woman. Mm. So that one should not worry you. Mm. You shouldn't think that you have a problem. If you have any any problem with uh, with that, just practice that Kegel's exercise and it should be both practiced by men and women so that now their muscles are also tight. You know, you tighten your muscle, you squeeze in. Why men? Because also a man needs mm -hmm. to practice that to make sure that he's able to be in control of ejaculation. Any man who does not practice also Kegel's exercise is a premature ejaculator. Oh. Yeah, so how do you do it? When you go to the urino, mm -hmm. when you go to the toilet to pee, mm -hmm. you, you release the urine, unakata. Mm -hmm. You release again, unakata. Mpaka umalize kupi. Mm -hmm. If you only go to the toilet and do po, you will find when you go to the vagina, you also do po. <laughs> You're not able to hold more than two, three minutes, you are done. Why? We have said the biggest sex organ is the, the mind. The mind yeah. So when the mind is able to hold, that is able to communicate the same information to your penis and to your vagina. So pasta is a myth. Yeah, it's also yeah. a myth that women have a big vagina. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Women can be able to make sure that their vagina is tight and you have the pleasure of sex mm -hmm. equally, just mm -hmm. like you would have also sexual pleasure from your clitoris. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a myth. Wow. Oh, yes. Wow. I had, I had a question. Yes. I wanted to just to, what, what you've talked about. Mm -hmm. One, uh, you've talked about uh, the size yes. not having an issue. Yes. That's just a tap on him for a mm -hmm. Maybe this lady could be thinking that maybe it were, if it was long, it would have deposited these thumbs very far uh -huh. to enable them to reach the one very faster. 
then this is too small inaziachia mm mbali -hmm. so ndio zianza safari ya kusimu zikienda huko it affects so do you think uh, that could also affect maybe if the man cannot deposit sperms maybe just at the entrance maybe it's it deposit only at the entrance mm -hmm. so zinakuwa na time kusimu paka zifike but if it was long enough yes. he would have pushed them a longer distance wonderful that's a very good question salano i want to say this a man ejaculates over half a billion sperms in one ejaculation and so That's what happens billion. yeah so what yeah. happens now mm -hmm. so if you don't have sex with your wife you know it means you are having you are a billionaire carrying spams within you <laughs> we have so many billionaires in form of spams in men because they are not releasing that to their wives is is there a, a negative effect to us that aha uh -huh. i think it's important to release them if you are in marriage but when you're not in marriage, let's say, for example, you are a youth, you're not married, the body is able to recycle them back. Mm -hmm. You get that. Eh? Mm -hmm. But if you're married, release them to your wife. Mm -hmm. So this, what happens, only one sperm mm -hmm. is supposed to fertilize the ovum. Only one sperm. Mm -hmm. So what do they do? The others do harambe. Mm -hmm. It's like they... They, they they push help. they give they help they uh, they propel uh, they propel the, the 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 one that is meant to go and fertilize the ovum mm. it's like they give that push moral, moral. Mm. that's why uh, we, we have even had we have even had girls who conceived mm. and they were they, there was no penetration mm. they were only ovulating yeah. Yeah. they were only ovulating the man just uh, spilled his palms just around the thighs and the girl conceived We've we've had oh, that. So yes. the, the size does not matter. Wow. In the swimming pool. Yes. Oh yes, it happens. Yeah. As long as a woman is ovulating. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Even I've heard, even there's another case we were handling of a of a daughter who, who was ovulating and the father first of all went to the bathroom and showered and then he had just had sex with the mother. So he wiped himself with the towel. Then he left the towel in the in the in the bathroom. Then the daughter woke up to go to school. A very young girl, I think she was 13 years, went and showered, and her she forgot the bath, the towel. So she took the towel of the dad, who had just come out from showering, mm. and they had just had sex with the, with the mother, oh. and wiped herself. Unfortunately, mm. where she wiped herself, yeah. it is where the spams of the father had, had aye, poured. Aye, aye, aye. And the girl conceived, and she was a virgin. And they were wondering how. It's when now they started recalling. There's something that ever happened because the girl didn't know anything to do with sex. My God. So it's not an issue of the size, my dear sister. Oh, so that's not. Out. No, that's a myth. Mm. Yeah, sperms have a way. They have. Remember when I, when when you are releasing sperms, there is the prostate gland that releases semen, mm. and semen is very rich in protein mm. and very rich in energy. That's what gives energy to the sperms to swim, mm. swim, swim, swim until they reach the ovum. Wow. Yeah, you get the point. And mm. only one sperm will get in, and when it gets in, the rest just respect that, mm. and they all die and come out. Mm. You're getting that, mm. eh? So it, it is, the, a small penis does not mean that you cannot have children. In fact, if you don't, if you have a challenge with the children, mm. the problem could be the, 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 the amount of the sperms that the man is producing, mm. either they are less, others are dying, or there is infection with the sperms, mm. there must be something. That is pr that is making the, the the sperms to die. Otherwise, the size does not matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another oh yes. Question. Yes. Wow. That, is I, I, that, that, that is my. It's really over because I'm, yes. I was also thinking maybe that length is what is yeah, in the no. So I think that's very educative. Yeah, yes. Mm. As we said, it's mm -hmm. us learning first before the. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Another thing you talked about that yes. before sex, mm -hmm. before even you wait for that penis to come in. Yes. We, we can just talk about romance yes. and talk about the other part of the body. Yes. And uh, in another episode you talked about ladies having seven sensitive parts yes and boys having six six yes yeah so maybe you can tell us are they the same because the not every woman this my her sensitive part may not be your sensitive part mm -hmm. like maybe maybe i talk about the neck mm -hmm. you may touch your neck and or you touch the neck and she's like yes go ahead so are they the same 